Okay, welcome back. I don't know what episode this is, but hopefully by the end of this episode we can hear it running at least. We'll see. So, finish this frame up. Um, obviously just sprayed it a bit so that it looks a bit, bit better. Um, put some little lets out. Found that it was very close to the bumper, so I wanted to get it as tight to the bumper as I could with minimal cutting um, required on the back of the bumper. So. That is about as good as it can be now. I put like those two lets. Obviously, I've got to go and modify this. So that's that's next up. So okay, so starting to pipe this up. Cut the reducers. I just got um, again. These are ASH or something, but but they're absolutely useless. Whenever I've ordered anything, they always phone me and say they've only got that in blue or bright orange or something. So I'm uh, I'm facing their logo down for that that reason. I know it's picky as fuck, but that's. That's because that's how I feel. <laughs> All of these bends and that come from Turbo Zentrum. I just ordered like a few of these, a few of these, few 90s, few 45s. Um, long story short, just cutting and trimming. A um, couple of bits of straight, just taping it up at the moment. Um, and I shall then remove them, go down and see my mate James and get him to weld them all up but long story short there'll be four pipes come up for here two will go to this side one go to this side and a, an air intake here somewhere um, I've got to modify this tank here so um, I'm going to go down and see jammers um, first thing in the morning like majority of what I'm doing is in the very dark so I'm doing what I can in the evenings I go down and see James at 6am in the morning get him to do a couple of bits and pieces for me and then uh, it doesn't affect my workload as a general rule so yes so yeah um winning right so um down at james's again i'm going to cut one of these end tanks i've got a replacement end tank again from turbo zentrum so we're going to try and uh, basically cut this in half cut that through and then have two inputs uh, two outputs so i'm unsure if it's going to favor this rather than this but there's enough data logging on the car to be able to find out. So um, if it does, we'll just have to modify that side and make it come in more centrally. But either way, um, I wanted to run cast end tanks rather than um, fabricated folded ones because it's quite... Um, when the throttle body closes down on the supercharged car with where we've got the throttle body, it's quite aggressive on these. Um, and we've, on fabricated tanks in the past, we've split them down here a few times. So I don't want that to happen. So... Hopefully these cast tanks will resolve any of that drama that we've got. So let's cut this apart. Mmm, this taste is nice. Welding. Oh, yes. Mate, you ain't too bad at that. You should get a job doing it, really. <laughs> Just a beginner. <laughs> I don't like to say you're good or anything, but... That's about average. <laughs> that is lovely. I wish I could do welding like that. I don't. <laughs> yeah, you do, because I wouldn't be knocking on your door every five minutes. <laughs> oh, mate, that's beautiful. I'm so excited. Oh, there's a, something about a bead roller. Oh, yes! Rightio, so got my boost pipes on now. Um, again, really happy, thanks James, absolute gent. Um, this one's slightly longer because it sort of sits further forward. Um, so just down on that bend there, it just sits further forward, hence why that one's a bit longer. Um, they just come through the centre here at the bottom and they'll go into the end of our nice new modified uh, in the cooler. So really happy with that. Um, I don't know whether I touched on why we move the throttle bodies here. Um, the main reason is because it's air to air. If we had the throttle body where they would normally have, there's like a massive volume of air there, which it would, as the throttle body shut, it would have to vac all of that up. So you've got like a bit of a delay. When we've got the throttle bodies here, we've got this uh, really sharp throttle response. And um, bear in mind that the supercharger is charging this with air immediately. So the moment you touch the throttle, we've, we've already got boost there waiting to go. Um, one of the negatives that we get is that it's very aggressive. As we shut the throttle down, um, we are still generating lots of boost. The, the supercharger is still running, it's still turning, it's still generating as much boost with the throttle shut as it was with it wide open. So we need to dispel that quickly. One of the things we discovered um, the first time we did this was um, on an AJ-16, Tom Robinson's um, 
XJ, we went down this throttle body and put the throttle body here and went air to air now. Worked brilliantly. But what we were doing is we were splitting um, splitting tanks here, splitting boost pipes, everything previous to here. So what we ended up doing was getting these forge. Um, these are 50 millimetres in diameter, um, this piston. Um, so we ended up putting one of these there uh, and that resolved any issue that we have. So, so I am running a pair. Uh, this one is fitted and that will just dispel um, as much air as is possible. So as I say, that's 50 mil. Um, it's actuated by this little vacuum pipe here, which is made by Hell. Um, we just had them custom made on their online hose builders um, and they just go on a little, um, like a V band on there. So, so that's the reasoning we've got these bloody great dump valves there. It's not for the noise. It's literally to save everything post charger from exploding. Simple as that. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with this. Um, my next point now is gonna make the charge pipe to come from the charger which we're hoping to come from under there on the front of our little box hopefully through this gap and on the top of these round to there so that's the next port of call i guess right i am um going to fit bell to new rotor oh, and then the i'm on instructions i'm doing an instruction mike's here he's uh he's fitting the intercooler uh, not the intercooler the uh, oil cooler for me Hello. bless him He's doing a fine job already. It's on the floor, look. And all we've done so far is drink coffee and uh, talk about stuff. Um, but we're going to lose these. Bolt these on. So, yeah, we've got a nice bracket that we had uh, made by a company in Chad called Turnweld. Um, they CNC'd these for us. And finding anyone to CNC stuff like that uh, at small quantities is an absolute nightmare. So, um, But he specialises in CNCing, like, sort of low-volume stuff. So... Um, you know and it was like sensible money as well and they're obviously spot on and we're really i'm really excited to get these brakes on so i'm um, giving the callipers a little bit of a clean up new discs um so we've got this um we've got these bobbin things we've got to bolt them in through so i'm gonna fit that now get the disc on get the old caliper off there's uncle mike look hi mike Hello. <laughs> um yeah and then we'll have some brakes then which would be nice and some oil cooling which would be even nicer oh fine job mike oh center punch Oh, action shot. Lovely. Thank you. Oh, new brakes, Mike. New brakes. Hello. Hello. Lovely. There's lots of purple and yellow in there. The old quantum written down there on there and the old uh, D2s. But yeah, happy with that. I think they're 383 or they might be 363. I don't know. I can't remember now. It's been bloody weeks since I was looking at it. But um, yeah, happy with that. Get me uh, race car wheel back on there. Mike's dragging that out, he fitted a whole set of brakes and he's done, um, oh that's an idea, what are we talking, 360 something? 14 inches. 14 inches, natty American car people, no good at all. Um, so yeah, 363, um, yeah I'm, I'm happy with that, she's going to be singing. And uh, How you getting on Mike? Yeah. Coffee time? Come back to me later. Come back later. <laughs> I'm going to have to lift you up from there, you've been sat there too long. <laughs> So one of the other things that um, we've talked about for a long time, since we've had the car really, is DCT. Now, obviously Uncle Spike is uh, Mr. Design Engineer, and uh, it's another good time to uh, get our scanner going. Now, um, we're planning on using the M4, um, the BMW M4 DCT gearbox, um, but we need to make sure that it's actually viable, make sure it's gonna fit. So Uncle Spike is obviously scanning um, this engine, um, so that's going to give us like the whole points and all of those things so we can just see as I say if it's a viable conversion what we don't want to do is go and buy a two grand gearbox three grand gearbox whatever it might be and find that you know everything is just in the wrong place and it can't work so so this is going to be able to give us like a, a you know it's th these are quite accurate they're pretty good and we're, we're quite happy with it but um, if we actually come to make one properly we will end up um, getting it to a CMM um, and just making sure it's absolutely perfect. The last thing we want to do is have something offset and then send like an eccentric, have an eccentric um, input shaft on the gearbox to the output shaft on the engine. So, um, so yes, like so having the um, the DCT gearbox in the car will just be so much fun. I can't even tell you. I imagine it will make it so much quicker. Um, ultimately, we won't be able to race with that gearbox in the car um, in the series and stuff that we're doing. But um, it's only like an hour to change the gearbox so we could have dct for everything but um just almost be a hot swap um we just want to do it really so 
So yeah, Uncle Spike is literally um, 3D scanning the whole motor. And he's enjoying himself. You like stuff like this, Uncle Spike, don't you? Oh yeah, I can't think of anything I'd rather be doing. <laughs> Your, uh, uh, well, value knee pad. That's an excellent knee pad. What are you on about? <laughs> Gotta look after your knees, Spike. Yeah. Got a nice bit of paper. Not getting any younger. Not getting any younger, you ain't. How are you getting on anyway? Yeah, getting on, mate. Sweet. Awesome. Uh, this is not mine. Uh, this is uh, this is in for a customer's project. This is the 4.7 Aston Martin V8, circa same year. Now this is the same bell housing pattern. So um, having an adapter um, and a flywheel kit that we could use on the Jag would open the door completely to the Aston Martin V8 as well. So once this is complete, once we've got this adapter kit, we'll be able to essentially bolt on DCT gearbox to any of the Aston Martin V8s um, you know this this era um, any of the AJ V8s so it would just open the door to a, a whole nother um, you know market I think potentially I mean you know the the reality is we're going to do it anyway because we, we want to do it but you know potentially it's something that we'll have and we'll be able to market um, as well so yeah watch this space um, if you're after a DCT and you're Aston Martin or your Jag or any other project that you want to use one of these V8s for um, how epic will that sound? Ba 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 ba. What do you reckon, Uncle Spike? <laughs> still was it? Still uh, takes yeah. its time, mind, doesn't it? It's, a lot of points, mind, isn't it? it's almost as uh, slow as you. Yeah, I'm going that far. <laughs> right, so charger is off again, so that we can um, get this front boost pipe sorted. So. Um, We've tickled this off, um, it's of no use to us anymore, so we've tickled this right back out of the way, um, give us a bit more room. Um, ah, we've measured up and it's plus or minus um, one or two millimetres off of a spark plug box, which is handy. So that's where we're hoping it's going to end up. So we're going to try and um, make something a bit fancy to go in here, um, whilst also giving us still room for the supercharger to... Uh, the nose of the supercharger will come over here and then hopefully oh, we can get this boost pipe down through here so Uncle Spike's just over there cutting some stuff up <laughs> so this is our uh, so far so good cut the bits of pipe Uncle Spike do you reckon we should fill them bits in? nah send it send it just add more boost <laughs> yeah so far so good Okay, so um, oil coolers made here. I'm a bit worried about um, the wheel, obviously putting up stones to it. So uh, I've nut inserted there, um, made this little bit, somehow got it filthy there, but um, that's gonna mount in there. And then I've got this sheet I've made here, which is just gonna go over there just to protect it. So I'll bolt that on now. So essentially um, oil coolers hiding in there. Um, I've just made this just to protect from anything here, obviously. Uh, it's quite nice to be able to get some of the carbon stuff we've made bolted in, so these mount um, the wings and the bumper, just to add some support that way, they're very strong in that way. Um, Uncle Spike's just chain drilling around there to um, give us a little bit of space for this pipe, which comes through the hole there and round. So, the prime job, Uncle Spike. Lovely, lovely, nice. All right, got the boys back today. <laughs> We're putting in the uh, oil lines today. Um, oil cooler is mounted, obviously. Um, yeah, it feels like we've been balls deep doing loads and loads all day, and we've achieved some pipes in. I've taken a load of stuff out. What else have we done? I've well, we put the wires back on the start motor, haven't we? Yeah. Got that. We've um, bolted the engine in properly. Rotate moved the, the rotate the throttle body because it wasn't in, an, in a particularly nice aesthetic place. And also would have uh, not been bonnet friendly, I don't think. Everything everything here is now bolted up, so we had to leave that plate. There um, was a hole in the back so we could bolt up through the charger and down into this plate that we've mounted. So I've had to put all those bolts back in, so that's bolted in properly. Now everything's mounted properly. Those two boys are just looking at each other. I'm carrying on drilling. Right. <laughs> <laughs> don't stop working. <laughs> so yeah, we're just mounting in like... um. I've got like a, um, um, an AccuSump in there, so I am going to move that 
to that that bit over there but it runs through like a bulkhead fitting there and down through to the front so we're just making it nice so I think bolts in nicely along the front all the oil pipes are sorted okay so we're at our um you know final build essentially everything's put together properly um everything's done up tight we've put water in everything's pressure tested i'm just now uh, please don't judge me we're just putting some uh, um wiring i'm just going to braid this up now and run it back in as a separate loom um yeah i'm hoping that we can have this started today like i say i'm just going to fudge up this loom so it's like a secondary loom to go with the other one and then uh, hopefully we'll do some turnkeys on it okay so um new injector wiring is in um obviously i've had to wire the um both new throttle bodies um new map sensors i've got like obviously one per bank as i've said same with the coolant temperature sensors um bleeding these up was was very nice and easy um just literally i'm able to output a pwm to these pumps and they speed up slow down as as required so um i've sort of just sent in a little pwm um set up just to bring the speeds up and down get all the air bubbles out um so i'm hoping these are going to be all right there's no leaks um yeah so i'm just going to turn it over make sure i've got plenty of oil pressure and then um like i say i've still got this on at the moment i've got to modify this i really don't like it at all but that's the next job on the list i suppose providing it all starts and work so um yeah let's see what happens that's it up you stupid idiot <laughs> Got a flat boof on now. Yeah, flat boof on, ready for um, go. I am um, very tired. I decided that um, I was going to get this to work. I was going to finish this wiring job. Um, we we were working on a customer's car all Saturday. A uh, couple of my mates come up again, Uncle Spike and Uncle Mike. Um, both good boys can't help me um, all day Saturday. Uh, which is effectively yesterday, but I haven't been asleep yet. So I, um, I said to him that I was going to have this running today. So um, it is tomorrow, but I've not been asleep. Um, so it's just before midday. Um, I am very tired, but um, I've got a car now that's um, on the button. It starts. Um, so yeah, I didn't have many major problems. Um, I had, uh, I've got like a slight weep on the oil fill housing, which is a bit annoying. Um, it's a bit of a bugger to get it off now, but you know, it is what it is. So, oh, hello. Hi. All right. Yeah. So, you go, that's YouTube there. They're just having a look. So, I'm just telling everyone that I've been uh, wiring the car. So, um, so, yeah, I've got a couple of small little jobs to do. Um, with regards to the wiring, um, I've not got the fans to work yet, but I've bled both the water systems. Um, everything seems to function correctly, so naturally we want to start this up so that you guys can hear it. So, uh, which one of you wants to start it? Well, it's your birthday in a minute, isn't it? So maybe you can press the start button. Okay. Yeah. Right, we can just edit this out. Press and hold it till it starts. There we go. Um really happy it's gone as well as i could have expected really it's been a it's been a long old day to be quite fair but um i'm glad i glad i put the um the time in to be honest because it was just getting to the point where you know it should be running and it's just not and um, bear in mind we're, we're only doing this car like um sort of evenings or sundays really it's not it's not any other time so it's all in it's all in the spare time i wish we, wish i could just afford to just sort of sit there and put a few weeks at it because it'll be done. So, um, list of things to do still. Um, I've got to sort out my air intake before I do anything. I'm, I'm not happy with this. I want something nicer here. Um, I've got to do something here. I don't know what. Um, so that's I'm going to sit there with the older uh, cardboard, cardboard CAD. Um, so I've got to do that. Once I've done that, I've got to tune the thing. So in the next episode, we'll be tuning it. 
Um, I've still yet to upgrade. I've got the PDM-08, the AIM PDM-08 still bolted in it. Um, and I've got to upgrade that to the PDM-32, which I've got here. Um, I think I'll dress it because she's still a bit nude. So um, we can finish off doing some of the carbon bits. We made a load of moulds um, a couple of months ago now. I can't even, I can't even, uh, the amount of work that has gone into this bloody thing. Um, the amount of like tired hours, like half eyes shut, late nights. Um, but I'm happy it started, I am. So, so yeah, we've got, we've got a dresser. Um, what else we've got to do? We've got to try and go um, and get the boost measured. Um, the the race series that we're doing, um, you know, because it's it's a bit different. Um, they only um, they they change the rules. Obviously, if you've been following, they change the rules um, uh, beginning of last year to allow these in. Um, so we're the first ones in. So um, they've sort of applied some measures this year um, just to keep it under control, which I get completely. Um, so we're limited to a bar of boost. Um, so in in this series, so as I was saying earlier, I mean one of the other episodes, like the the joy of that supercharger pulley is that um, you know we can have one for one for racing and one for track days and one for whatever. You know, potentially you could, um, as far as I can see, I haven't really checked the rules particularly well, but um, as far as I can see, we could change the tyres on this, put some slicks on it. I could change a pulley, adjust the tune, and you could go out and do thunders, I guess. Um, I see no reason why not. Um, oh, not that I could drive it properly in thunders. I'm like a ride idiot. I just pretend I'm still doing the jags in the in the thunders. Um, but yeah, um, so I've got to go and I've got to go and get it independently tested. Um, they'll measure the pulleys. They'll measure the boost pressure just to make sure that I'm not cheating. Um, which is again, I get that completely. It's got to be. You've got to get everything, um, you, you know, you've got to keep everyone under the same rule book. And, and as long as everyone's adhering to that, then, you know, it'll make everything far more fun. And um, Colin um, is the guy that sort of deals with our rules in the CTCRC. And um, when we were talking about the rules, he just kind of said, you know, well, if you run a bar of boost initially and if you disappear off into the distance, then we'll lower it because we want close racing. And I get that completely. And I'm fully behind it it's, makes life great makes it good fun for everyone because like on the face of it this car probably looks ridiculous um because it does look like there's all sorts of bling and stuff going on but the the reality of the situation is it's just um it should be no better or worse than anyone else's really it's just i've probably spent a little bit more time maybe um you know i'm lucky i've got some good pals um i'm quite driven so we will get out here and do things um and we we are fortunate in that we do like possess the physical like you know the craft skills to be able to put something together so a lot of people racing maybe don't so i get that completely we they, we don't want to have an advantage I, I really don't not i've got any at the moment i'm at the back of the bloody pack so um it, it's it's kind of irrelevant at this point but maybe in the future it will become an issue so so yeah we've got to go and do that it's another little job we've got to do um i've got to go and get it corner weighted um got to get all the wheels pointing in the correct directions um what else have we got to do? And then I suppose, like, a bit of testing. Um, it's not a massive amount, I suppose, but it's enough to fill up a few weeks, for sure. So, so yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, next episode, we'll be tuning, um, and we'll be air intake tuning, PDM32, um, and then we'll go over to Swallow, see Tom and Jack and the boys over there and get them to align me up for a bit more camber in the boys. And, uh... Yeah, and then a bit of testing maybe, or maybe, we'll, and we'll probably go and um, maybe we'll do a bit on the um, the independent test. To see, I'll be interested actually to see if the figures read the same as mine. So, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll do that. Thanks again for following. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, we're enjoying um, actually making the videos now. In fairness, it was a bit of a chore initially, but now I'm I just tend to point the camera at stuff and have a little chat. I hope that it's sort of coming across quite well. Um, but yeah, thanks ever so much, guys. Um, I'll see you all soon. Thanks for all the subscriptions and all the likes and all of those things. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!